One other thing that I really want to do is I want the voices of youth to be heard outside Sudan and I want to, uh, more Sudanese youth to be participating in the global negotiations and have a chance to express not just themselves but the whole Sudan, uh, Sudan uh, vision on what we, what, what we think that we really need and what we really have. We're coming here to share their own only knowledge and expertise and to, to find a new solution to how to engage the youth participation. Our government are so afraid of you know the Arabic Spring and the, what's happening there and the whole region is so trashy these days. So we, we want to enlighten the youth back there that you have to reflect their own voice, what you feel that the challenge and obstacle, how we can get rid of our own problems and want to work on reaching uh, the SDGs especially SDGs, that to apply it and implement it back in Sudan. Each one of us have their own experience in their own issues in, uh, in, in their, back in their countries. And I believe that there is a link between, uh, between, all, all, uh, between all these different countries, so we can find uh, something that we have both in common and, and see it from a different perspective and, to, and understand, it's a way to understand our issues in a better way and uh, a chance to learn more about the youth delegate uh, role and how they can actually uh, be useful for the community. I also want to have a model, uh, a UN model that can combine between children and even youth so we can fix it in a, in a funny way. It's not have to be so formal. It has to be like bringing them and to tell the children about there is rights and there is demand. There is something called parliament. There is something they call the constitution. What is the constitution? You heard about it a lot in the radio and the TV, but what is it? That's exactly what I want to, to enlighten people back there, especially youth and children. Um, I believe that youth can be the change, uh, but some of us really need to stand up because if no one is going to do it, and um, it's not never, it will never happen. So I choose to be those one who are taking that advantage and stand up and do the right thing for not only for myself but for the whole community, especially that I'm a woman in a community where women's voices are not very, not heard and and, and they are very confident by the community obligations. So it's a chance to tell women that we can and we will. It's not about just about the UN Youth Delegate. You can do it by yourself. Don't think, don't hesitate. Bring change to your own community, your own society, because uh, in our time, this, this running time is running, the time it flows, so you have to bring change as fast as you can, as with your limited resources. Don't think so far. Just do it for the short term, and with time, everything will be possible. You can achieve it. Believe in yourself. If youth had the chance to actually work on global issues, I'm 100% sure that they can actually contribute to the change, to a real change, because when we talk about change, we don't really need a, a strategic plan. It can be run randomly with uh, all the participation of youth if we give them a chance to uh, express themselves and express their ideas and demonstrate it into reality, then we will have a real change that uh, representing and covering the whole world.